welcome to Just Minding My Business Radio, where we are moving at the speed of God, learning what we didn't know we didn't know. I'm your host, Ida Crawford, so grab a pen and paper and get ready for information that you can use. Welcome to another episode of Just Mind and My Business. I hope your day was full of joy. Coming to the mic today is Felicia McElvin, who believes in doing small big. It's the foundation in which Fade to Black was built upon. As the founder and CEO of Fade to Black, Felicia is determined to move the aspiring, emerging, and hobbyist solopreneur from in the red to being in the black. Felicia is an, is an information technology professional, community advocate, volunteer, and a passionate supporter of the solopreneur. Felicia is as a champion of dreaming out loud and it's changing the dynamics of how small business is done. With her core values of integrity and transparency, mm, can't even get it out. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> With her core values of integrity and transparency, Felicia is committed to creating an influx of business influencers among the black community. Well, welcome, 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 Felicia. I am so happy you're here. You see, I'm all excited. I can't even talk. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Miss Ida. I really appreciate it. You made me sound like, oh, I'm a movie star. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was Absolutely a great welcome introduction. I appreciate it. Yes. Well we I wanna know all about Fade to Black and how that how you how this vision came about. Okay, well Fade to Black was not something I ever dreamed of in my wildest imagination. It so happened that last July, actually Fade to Black is only Tuesday, Wednesday, the 13th, Wednesday will make six months that Faith to Black has even been in existence. But a year ago, one Saturday afternoon, I just so happened to be outside in my front lawn, and a gentleman walked up and said my name and said, can I have a minute of your time? And I wished him away, and I was like, no, 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 I don't want anything you're selling. No, thank you, sir. He said, five minutes, please, just five minutes. And I finally gave in, and those five minutes turned into three hours, and those three hours changed my life. He introduced me to the political world, which I was always interested in, but never really active in. And from there, I became a volunteer on his campaign, and he introduced me to all types of influencers, political and business owners, and being in that arena, I connected with a lot of nonprofit organizations and saw that they stick so well together. They are like glue. They support each other, and they are so pro the community. But I realized that what was missing was that small business owners who are for-profit struggle, and it's because Usually, we don't support one another. And I remember growing up in Baltimore City, there were small business owners at corner stores and on the avenues in the city, and they just all faded away to all other nationalities. And they are succeeding and successful in business, and they're making the dollar out off of the people who live in the community. And that just opened my eyes, and God told me, Felicia, you have this information, now use it. And from there, Fade to Black was birthed. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. And I, I heard you speak about, you know, back in the day when there was black, corn, you know, corner stores um, owned by black people, and my aunt was one of those people. She was one of the only black female women that had her own corner store. 
because awesome. when I was growing up, it was mostly the Jewish people that had the corner stores. And as you mentioned, you know, the faces of the community corner stores has tr- changed drastically. Yes. I mean, yes. drastically. And as I tell, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, as I tell the, the members of Save the Black, that money will never, ever, ever stop flowing. And we, African Americans, are the biggest consumer of goods. So instead of giving our money to everyone else to be successful in our communities, let us build ourselves up and support one another like they, other nationalities do and the nonprofit sector does. And I am determined and committed. I am passionate about it, and it's going to happen. Oh, I know what it is because I can feel it in your voice. I'm I'm here to tell you, you are just screaming in your heart. So I under, I definitely feel in you because I um work for a uh, Jewish nonprofit organization, and in observing, you know how the things that they do in the community, it is huge. It is huge. Yeah. They have their own schools. They have their own. Uh, senior services, they have their own, um, what else, you name it, they have it. Yes. And they are, you know, really big on community and supporting, and they not only support the Jewish population, they also support the community as a whole, which I find very, very um, good, which is why I've been there so long. <laughs> But anyway, you're so right. So tell me a little bit about your your company in terms of some of the the pieces that's involved in your company. Okay, well, I really do not go out and search for members or for people to join the group. We have a Faders group, which is open. It's on Facebook that's open to any and everyone who wants to be a part. The only requirement that I ask is that you have a desire to want to be a business owner. And that group is for motivation and to connect people with one another. And then there's a Faders Pro group where it's a monthly subscription in order to be a member, and they get all the details. And as a business owner, if they're working full, if, their full-time job is their business, they can't go out and do all the networking during the day or go to the classes. And even though I have a full-time job, what I have committed myself to is to go and network on their behalf. So I'm always at a networking event um, in the community. I volunteer at school, at my daughter's school. Um in the process of becoming a volunteer for AARP driving course, I just want to tap into every resource to get information. And in doing that, I have found out that there is a plethora of free resources. So I take that information and I bring it back to the subscription group. Mm -hmm. And they have access to it 24-7 online. That is awesome. That is awesome. that is so awesome, and you're so right. There is so much free information mm-hmm. out there that you will become overwhelmed. There's <laughs> so much stuff out there, you know. And like you, I run an organization for uh, female entrepreneurs, and you know, each lady is committed to their business, and we are all about, you know empowerment because when you're just getting started with a business it's a lot of upfront work oh yes. my god and it, there is no paycheck first yes. at first and a lot of times um belief is like in and out you know because you're doing so much up so much upfront work and then you start to wonder is this going to work you know I'm working my tail off and I don't see nothing happening. But as you know, you know, business takes time. It takes being consistent uh, with what you're trying to do. So within my organization, that's one of the things, you know, that we work with the mindset, 
we also, like yourself, we bring back uh, business information that can support everybody within the organization as well as networking opportunities. And a lot of times, you know, everybody can't always go to networking opportunities. And like you, we have so much in common, Felicia. We have so I much see. in common. <laughs> I work a full-time job as well doing technology uh, and, um, you know, when I'm done with them, then it's like my next life comes into play. So I have committed to doing, you know, at least one networking event per week, at least. And um, the last week has been really full. I did two events in one day and then another one the next day. So I'm like bushed right now. <laughs> But I'm like you. I want to see people be successful, you know, because we were all born to do something. Yes. And a lot of times fear gets in the way, you know, not believing that you're good enough. And we've all been there. Indeed. You know, and when you see the next person that that looks like they're super successful, you know, you start to feel some kind of way, but everybody starts somewhere. Indeed. Yeah. It takes time, and it takes commitment, and there have been moments in the last six months that I was like, this is just not for me. Uh, I can do And I'm a professional failure. I admit to that. I believe in transparency. I have tried several businesses before, and they've all failed. And the key to that is just to keep on moving. They have been lessons that I've learned, and now I know. Yeah, I've tried it this way. It didn't work, but every time I've done it in the past, it was trying to do it by myself. Mm. And I just do not believe that just because you're a solopreneur means that it has to be a solo gig. <laughs> that we all need each other. We just all we really do in order to grow. Because we all have the same desire. The same goal is just taking different routes. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. And you cannot build a business by yourself. There is no way <laughs> in this world that you can do it. No way. It's, it's no way in this world because you need you need collaboration. You know, sometimes, and, and just like you just said, you know, when I started – sister circle first of all that found me because when god put that in my spirit to do it me and him went back and forth i was like lord i don't know (laughs) i know that feeling because you fight it but you know like i can hear the passion in your voice and it's just so ironic that we might have the same goal you know the like it's identical Extremely parallel to one another. That is just awesome yeah. to me. That yeah, is just we awesome. Have so much in common. I mean, the technology. Mm-hmm. I've been in the technology field for over twenty-five years. Oh, see, I knew you was a pro. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you I were mean, a pro. I eat and breathe technology every day. I'm on doing something on the computer every single day. And, uh, you know, to see that you're in that business as well, I also volunteer my time as well. And it's like we have so much in common. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> it's a divine time and a divine purpose for everything. Yes, yes. It so is, it is. People so if people want to join your group, how do they uh, get in contact with you? Faith Black is on several media platforms, social media platforms. So my website is www.dosmallbig.com. We could be found on Facebook at, at Do Small Big and on Instagram at Do Small Big. Okay. So what is your requirements to become a member of your of your group? So for either group, it is to have the desire to be a business owner, that you know that that's what you want to do. I believe that it's in everybody. It's in every last one of us. Mm-hmm. You just have to get to the point where you decide to quit believing that if you work a, 30, a job for 30 years, it's going to somehow be okay. I had to get to that point. 
So just have a desire to be a business owner, and we'll work it from there. Because if you have a dream, I'm going to make you live it out loud. I will snatch it out of you. I know that's right. You heard that. (laughs) Snatch it out of you. I like how you said that. (laughs) Snatch it out of you. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. And there's some people that just fighting with that fear so hard. They're so scared to step out. And, you know, we've all been there. You know, I was scared yeah. one time. But now I've turned that fear into I am not leaving this world broke. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <That's my> fear. <laughs> I've been Amen. working for th- for, um, since I was 18 years old, and I ain't going to tell you how old I am now. And I remember... Back then, you know, I was saying I'm gonna retire when I was thirty. When I turned thirty, and little did I know what it took to retire. <laughs> right. I was definitely talking off the cuff. <laughs> and now, you know, I'm in. I'm. I'm getting better. I'm in my prime, and I. I can see real clear now that that is definitely not going to work out for me. The retirement piece. Exactly. I, I say, live your dream. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. And it's so much influence nowadays around you. With you seeing people, you know, just stepping out and just doing the darn thing. And you know, it it to me it motivates me to see that. I was watching um, what was it? Uh, America's Got Talent. And I like that show because you got people from all walks of life that mm-hmm. just step on out and do the darn thing. Even if it's messed up, they still come out and do it anyway. Because <laughs> that's all that's required is just a little bit of effort. And sometimes we need somebody to push us and to motivate us. And the fade to black, fade to black I, I really do mind your business. I really do. I mind your business. I help you get registered with the state, any and everything that you could think of. We have accountability. Part. Everyone is assigned an accountability partner. We meet once a month. And for that unity and that collaboration, and we just love on each other. And I try my best to give everybody an outlet to at least host an event, Faith the Black Hulk. We host events as well. We've had two. Mm-hmm. And um, they were not successful at all. But it's a lesson. And I brought in other vendors, other people, and uh, at least everyone did make a connection, if nothing else. So people were growing and they're making connections, and through those connections they are slowly but surely getting out of the red and, if nothing else, getting exposure. Yeah. And that's what it takes, just being in action and just getting out and, and meeting people because a lot of times, you know, I tell my ladies, you know, that, that feeling thing, you know how you done worked all day, you get home, I don't feel like going to this event. <laughs> we've yeah. all been there we've all mm-hmm. said it. Mm-hmm. And it's a mindset thing, and a lot of times I don't feel like it. But once I get there, I am so happy I went because I've met yeah. some some people. I've shared, you know, some stuff. They've shared some stuff. And when I end up leaving, I'm feeling very empowered and feeling very in, accomplished because had I went home and watched television, I would have got up the next day mad at myself. Yes. And I, have, I, I I try to keep a schedule book. I try. I try to make sure that I'm out doing something at least three, four times a week. But I'm a night owl. My prime hours are 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. I am in my zone, those hours. So for me, it's okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm a morning <laughs> person. I, I'm like up at 4.30 in the morning. Oh, doing no. All kinds of stuff. In the morning, and then by 10 o'clock, I'm, like, out for the count. (laughs) 
so I try to do everything in the morning, but don't get me wrong, after I get off from work, it's like, okay, where am I going today? And I keep a calendar as well because there's so much going on that you can easily, you know, forget, oh, this thing is tonight, you know what I mean? So, yeah, absolutely. So Fade to Black, I like that name. So how did you come up with that name? Actually, it started because I was like, okay, we really do need to fade from giving everyone else our money and making them so successful and fade to doing black business. And then I got an epiphany, and Lord was like, no, money is green. (laughs) So (laughs) he sent me to the dictionary. Honestly, true story. Sent me to the dictionary to find another meaning for black and black in business mean profit. And I was like, well, okay, Lord, have your way. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I liked how you depend on the Lord for support because I know there was a time in my life where I thought it was me. And oh, then I realized you know. <laughs> it wasn't me because every time I had to do it, it was mess. But yeah. once I gave up, relinquished that um that stuff to God, it was like, oh, my Lord, what a relief. I was like, here you go. And now yeah. it's like, here you go. <laughs> mm. I don't have a problem with it, you know what I mean, because it makes life so much um, easier. And when you're making decisions, it becomes very clear as to what you need to do. Exactly. Exactly. And, yeah. So I think that and, maybe you might be my sister. <laughs> My blood system, I don't know about it. This is so, this is just, but that's how God works. So. That is exactly how he, it works. Who knew that we were going to meet? Who knew? Right. You're absolutely right. So we got to thank um, Nicole for bringing us yeah. together. Yeah, shout out to Nicole. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so again... How can our audience get in touch with you? Phone number is 443-825-6785. You can reach me by email at Felicia McElveen at DoSmallBig.com, on Facebook at DoSmallBig, on Instagram at DoSmallBig. Right. So I heard you say you help people get um, their licenses and and all that kind of stuff. So your organization truly does hold hands to help the business person, um, you know, complete all the steps involved in, you know, getting that business started. Uh, Yes. Do you do work with business plans? I have attended several classes for it. We have templates. We have people in the group who have semi-mastered it. But I also have a connection that will help. Okay. Um, Connections are good. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Connections are real good because that's a lot of work. Because I do a little bit with the – I do some work with the uh, business plan. But at first, I kind of create it as a business plan just for your eyes because a lot of times when you say that we're a business plan, plan, fear crops up into people because it's like, oh, my God, I got to do a business plan. But what I do, especially when you are just starting a business, you have to think about the dynamics of your life. Okay, so you're at day one of your business. What is going to be your working hours? Those kind of things you need to kind of, to me, go over with yourself first. When when are your working hours? How if you have children? If you have a husband, how are you going to put them on the schedule in the mix of your business? Because a lot of times, sometimes when you get home from work, your kids need this, they need that, but they also need to understand that you have working hours. Right. Whether it's two hours in the evening, every evening, off on whatever day you're going to be off on, 
you know, I try to do, that's the way I did my first business plan. It was like the day one of business. Okay, how am I going to fit this in my life? I work a nine to five. (laughs) Ten hours of that is all about them because I got to get up. I got to get ready. Then I have to go. Then I got to do the job. Then I got to come home, wind down. You know what I mean? All of these little yeah. things that yeah. a lot of times you don't think about in the beginning because you, you know, you, oh, I'm going to start this business. But to me, all of that type thing matters. That is so very true. So I call it, uh, I and I have a new name for the business plan. I call it a, a picture of my business. Oh, I love it. Because it's just for me. It's just for my eyes. And right. then later on, once I'm doing the business and I'm in there, then I create a real business plan. <laughs> yes, well, I have yes. tweaked mine about 50 times. Oh, yeah. Because at it's first a- I was under the impression, you know, well, you don't need it unless you want funding, but that's not even true. Mm-hmm. You should have one because you're going to need it for other things. And it says to someone else, I am a legitimate business owner and I take my business very seriously. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And and the thing of a business plan is just like a resume. It's it's it grows. It's gonna constantly change as your direction changes. Because sometimes when you put the business plan in place, God might have the whole totally different business plan for you. So then you don't have to turn around and tweak it. Because he's saying, okay, I know you wrote that, but this is the plan. (laughs) And you know how that works. Because I remember sitting down with one of the members in my organization, and we sat down and did her business plan. And uh, she started doing it that way. But then it really wasn't working out for her that way. So now she's doing something totally different than what the business plan says. So, you know, for people out there, the business plan is a revolving document. It's it's, it's going to change as your direction changes. Yeah, well, I hope my fader is going to they're going to listen to that. <laughs> yes, yeah, and and, and, and receive it. Yeah. Yes, because it's not in stone because, you know, you don't know which way God is going to take you, and ultimately he's in charge. Yes, Indeed. For sure. For sure. So I need to ask this question. Sure. So what do you do in information technology? I work in healthcare information technology. Okay. So I, I work for one of the local hospitals, and I work on their – Epic software. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Okay. I work on a team where we make sure that software is customized to what the providers and the nurses and the medical assistants and the pharmacists and the lab technicians that everybody needs to make sure that everything goes into the patient's chart correctly. Oh, wow. That's a big big job. (laughs) Yeah, we we, we have a Great team, a great team. Mm-hmm. Yes, because when I saw information technology professor, I was like, oh, Lord, another one of me. <laughs> See, I, I told you yours is, you're the pro. You're yeah, the pro at I do more like the break fix yes. stuff. That's what I do. I, I tried the um, programming for a little while, and I just hated it. It was too much code, and when you get an error, you've got to go through all this code, and the the error messages are just not, I'm broke over here. This is where I'm broke. You have to figure out what the error message means, and sometimes it's just a matter of a space. Right. So I was like, you know what, my nerves can't even to do this. (laughs) So I am now in the break fix uh, industry. I keep the users running so they can do their job. That's awesome. That is awesome. And it's it's just I told you you're my sister, right? You're my sister because it's, how ironic! Like you and IT, I'm in IT. We have identical businesses, like that are going to partner for sure. 
Lifelong oh, forever. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I was already thinking that. As soon as you started telling me what fade the black mean, I'm like, okay, we're going to be aligning. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. That is and awesome. I'll. At our next meeting, we won't be having one for June because people are on vacation and all. But in July, we are. I am planning to bring a banker in to talk to the small business owners. Oh. So. Okay. Well, I will surely let my ladies know. Awesome. We probably need to get Nicole in to do yes. a presentation as well because her program Indeed. Is, is really, really um, tight. I like it a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. I- I've actually um, went and met with Nicole recently, and I'll be there with her next week, Monday, I believe. Next Monday, I heard that. That she's having. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna be there as well. Woo-hoo. Oh, great! I get to hug you. Yes. <laughs> yes, I get to hug you. Yes, indeed. Well, my goodness. I am just so, you've made my day, Miss Felicia. You really You have. made mine. It's my pleasure. I am so honored that you thought enough to share the airwaves with me. I appreciate oh, you. absolutely. I appreciate you, too. This has been <laughs> awesome, and uh, I can't wait to come to one of your meetings. And where do you normally hold your meetings? We usually hold it. There's, oh, you would think that I would know about there's a church in Catonsville that um, allows us to use their classroom, one of their classrooms, and we host it there. It's usually the first Saturday of every month from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., but it's, it's far from a regular meeting, I must admit. We have tons of fun. It's very interactive, and there's dinner. Okay. That sounds awesome. <laughs> so definitely um, – my people out there, make sure that you follow her on her Facebook page so that we can all meet up at her meeting. Anybody that's in the in the Baltimore, Maryland area, I've got a feeling it's going to be off the chain. <laughs> it will. It will. Yes, follow, share, like. <laughs> yes, yes, and definitely um, put it on my page. I'm going to well, I'm going to be on your page from this point on peeping in on what you're doing, so I will definitely be sharing uh, your information out because I think what you do is so, so, so important to the community and anybody that you touch, they are definitely going to benefit. I can already feel it and in, in your voice and how committed you are to what you're doing. So I am loving it. Well, Ms. I am so honored. Yes, I am so, 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 I can't stop saying this, my <laughs> sister. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. Touch and agree, yes, definitely. Yes, yes, indeed. It has been awesome. And uh, family, when her next meeting comes up, def- definitely look for it on her website as well as her Facebook page. And she's going to shout it out one more time for us. What is it again, Miss Felicia? www.dosmallbig.com. You can find us on Facebook at at Do Small Big and also on Instagram at Do Small Big. All right. And it's also going to be on a Sister Circle Empowerment Network page as well. So it's going to be everywhere. So there's not going to be an excuse for you not to come. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, and thank you so much for sharing Fade the Black with us. We really appreciate it, and we are definitely behind everything that you're doing. Same here. All right, Miss Felicia. It's been awesome, and we'll talk again. Thank you, Miss Ada. Have a great evening. You too. This show is brought to you by... The Amazing Women of a Sister Circle Empowerment Network, a SIN LLC, where we are never in competition, but always in collaboration. And our valuable sponsors, Prodigy Accounting Service. 
Next Generation Accounting to get you where you need to be. Contact them at prodigyacct1 at yahoo.com or online at www.fli-inc.com. Ready to plan for your retirement? Contact Game Plan for Retirement. Call 410-902-0464 and schedule a free consultation. Major decisions often require expertise we may not have. Buying real estate can be one of those decisions. Don't experiment with your real estate investment. Contact Realtor Tia Lewis, mad scientist of real estate, creating the perfect formula to solve all of your real estate needs. For a free consultation, call 240-351-0258. Or would you like to know what a Sister Circle Empowerment Network, a SIN LLC, is all about? Contact us today at assistercircle at gmail.com and visit our website at assistercircle.org. That's A-S-I-S-T-A-S, circle.org. Voiceovers for a Sister Circle Empowerment Network provided by Ruth Haskins Voiceover Actor. To fulfill your professional voiceover needs or to receive her current professional demo, contact Ruth at 443-620-4115. Just Minding My Business Radio. I'm your host, Ida Crawford. We hope you enjoy the show and appreciate you stopping by. Many blessings to you and yours. 